Hi, my name is Chris Cooper, and this is a quick walkthrough video of this 1999 Broom 35 CL. She's a really smart boat, this, with a single Perkins 135, bow and a stern thruster. She's got smart canopies, recent Bailey and Stone canopies, cockpit upholstery and silver tech's been done to match. She's been polished, and overall, She's a very presentable thing. Gel coat's good. No real damage or really an awful lot of signs of age. Windows are in good condition. 35 CLs have the side door arrangement, which is quite nice. And nice wide decks. Fairly recent flexi teak on the bathing platform and the steps. Teak in the cockpit. In very good condition overall. Hear that lovely burble there from the Perkins. Sound really solid things, and they are really solid things actually. Right, without further ado, I'll take you aboard. So here we are in the cockpit. You can see teak flooring here. And these are the silver text upholstery. Really nice little touches in there. The broom logo on the back of the seat. The piping is absolutely spot on as well. It's really very well done. The canopies are in near new condition. Very smart. And the boat is very smart, actually, I think. A lovely steering position, really comfortable, and you have a commanding view. Throttles on the helmsman's right hand side, and the bow and stern thruster controls there as well. It's a very responsive boat, it's very easy things to drive. Icon VHF there, look. Speed and depth lock on the dashboard. Folding arch as well, look. Hinged. You see the hinging there, look. And that falls back. So the highest point on this boat is the uh, is the windscreens. And whilst that won't get you under Ludden, Ludden Bridge or um, Rocks and a potter, it will get you through some of the swing bridges and some of the, the taller bridging on the broads and Thames. It, uh, it easily gives you access to the upper reach of the Thames up to Abingdon and beyond. Oh, another little nicety, I think, on, on this boat is just the I don't know if you can see that, but there's some little wind brakes and uh, clear, clear plastic that have been made to sit underneath the dodgers. If you know these boats, then uh, then, then the uh, the howl of um, of the wind coming through under the dodgers of an evening is something that you'll be very familiar with, and uh, it's just a nice little touch. It just makes that boat that bit more convivial. Right, without further ado, we'll go below. This is the saloon. And there's ultra leather upholstery in here. Again, some nice touches, the armrests make the seating really very comfortable. Ultra leather is a faux leather material. It's very popular with them. Um, with uh, broom owners really and broom used to promote the um the virtues of ultra leather it is something that's uh it's actually really quite an expensive thing to fit but um but it's much softer and 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 a, and a lot more elastic than hide so it keeps its shape and it's very hard wearing and and does generally make a really good upholstery material carpets are pretty tidy all the way through the boat and the timber works good. It's 
bright and got luster to it. No obvious marks or or damage. I mean, there's you know it's not a new boat. I think when you you know when you look closely, there's little um, there's little bits on the top of the step here. Look, there's a little tiny little bit of watermark damage, but you know it's it's very very minor and. Uh, you know, every every other aspect really of the timber work inside the boat is in really, really good condition. If I just focus, look on the, the varnish work on on here, it's it is actually in really good nick. I've also got these little step covers. It's all really nicely done. Teak and holly floor in the galley there. The boat is still in use at the minute. The owners are in the throes of um, removing their personal effects, so there's a few little bits and pieces on board the boat. But no doubt you'll see the video, but uh, but I think it gives you a pretty good idea of the condition and the, and the interior of the vessel. So the forward cabins with V-berths. And again, upholstery is all in really good condition in here. Hanging locker there on the starboard side. Linings are all good. Another hanging locker on the port side there. Forward toilet and shower compartment. Jabsco electric toilet there. I'm actually looking at this, I'm not sure that this is a shower compartment. So you'd expect a, a lift up shower head from the uh, the tap there and it looks like it's just a tap fitting and there's no shower fitting in there. Not that that's uh, much of an issue really as the um, there's a separate shower cubicle in the aft cabin. So let's back through the saloon and down into the aft cabin. Of course this is what the broom's all about really. Big double bed, lots of floor space on either side of the berth. Again, you see the cabinet in here, it's all in really good nick. Controller for a sterling inverter there. And then we've got toilet and shower compartments on the starboard side of the boat here. Another Jabsco electric toilet. And then we've got a dedicated shower cubicle. Really very comfortable boats these. Very sturdily built. Lots of accommodation. A really pleasant thing to spend extended time aboard. So if you'd like more information, please give us a call or head over to our website, www.nya.co.uk. Thanks for watching.